Hello and welcome to Technic Force tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to verify mail recipients. It is essential to verify emails in cold emailing as it will protect your IP reputation and increases deliverability. So the very first thing to do is to log in to your poor setup account. From our last video, we talked about on how to create a list to hold mail recipients. There are so many ways to add and create your list. It is either adding them manually, importing CSV file, through subscription forms, Zapier, or API integrations. Going back to List tab, let me click a list. As you can see, I get subscribers that I have already added together with their names or emails, source, valid, extra fields, and the date added. They are being marked as unchecked. What are we going to do is to validate them. And to validate them, we must go to Email Verification tab on the Navigation menu. It will ask you whether you want to do manual verification or automatic verification. The question you might ask is, what differs between the two? Manual verification will let you verify those lists manually. On the other hand, Automatic verification will allow you to verify all the lists automatically. Let me show you how this manual verification first and how it works. Select on the list you wanted to verify and click on the Start Verification button. It is now checking. You just have to wait until it's done. As you can see, in these three subscribers, one of them has been verified as to its status. We can also see subscriber also labeled as don't mail as a reason that it is role based. And the other one is invalid as the mailbox are not found. It is actually an email that does not exist. You will also see the total numbers of the processed emails. You will see the total number of verified, invalid, unchecked, and the emails that are labeled as don't mail. Since I only added 3 subscribers, I got 1 verified, 1 invalid, and 1 for don't mail. In any way that you added numbers of subscribers, I know you can manually select those invalid emails and delete them manually. So to solve that issue, there is this drop down where it will select accordingly. If you select verified, all verified will be marked checked. If you select Don't Send, all emails labeled as Don't Send will also be marked checked. You can also delete them by clicking on this Clear Form List button. When you're also in this List section, there is also a drop down just like I have shown you earlier. Again, if you select Verified, all Verified will appear. If you select Invalid, all Invalid emails will show and you can delete them by clicking on this Delete button. That's how it is when you manually select your list. Going back to the email verification tab, I'm going to show you how this automatic verification works. It is actually up to you where you're going to select as they are both applicable. We must toggle on this verify emails before adding to automatically verify them. Select your list. You can directly select this all list from this drop down. In my case, I'll choose this third list named subscribers as it has the lead generation form that we have added from this form tab. Take note that you cannot verify a list that was already verified. Next drop down is this select types to delete. Whether you don't want to see the emails that are invalid or flagged as don't send, you just have to select what you wanted to delete. When everything's done, click on save. It will notify you that the setup is saved successfully. That's it. If you want to make things moving in an instant, just use this automatic verification. Since we use the subscription form that I generated, let me show you how this works. Let me add some random names as an example. Add some random email and add some description. Let us now submit this. As you can see, it leaves you a note that your details are submitted successfully. However, I actually added email that does not exist. 
when we go back to our list under subscribers, you will be able to see that the submitted details from the subscription form is invalid. It validates automatically as we turned on the verify emails before adding on the automatic verification section. Now, what are we going to do to stop this kind of subscribers from adding our list? We must click on the select types of email to delete. So you can directly choose emails that is invalid or the emails that were plugged as don't send. So this is how the automatic verification works. Just to remind you, adding details in subscription forms are not the only way to add your list. As I have mentioned earlier, you can add through Zapier, API through this APR and tracker tab. You can also add a subscriber's details manually, or you may upload CSV file. From the email verification, let me also select the demo list and upload a CSV file as an example. You just have to click its section, open a file, and a box pops up to let you select its name field, which is the name, and the email field, which is the email. So they are now added and validated. Easy, right? I hope you like this tutorial. We also have a bunch of videos and demos in this channel. Take a look and you might also find tutorials about the other apps too, which might help you succeed in internet marketing. Check those out and thanks for watching.